U.S. Defense Secretary have met. In fact, uh, what we understand is that Antony has flagged uh, the border dispute with China as the highest strategic priority. And that's what Antony is supposed to have told Panetta. Also about India's engagement with China being an independent one, an ongoing one, but common elements possible, according to Antony. Antony flags Pakistan-based terror as the immediate concern for India and the spillover effect alongside U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. Panetta and Antony assert that the convergence in view of AFPAC security, Panetta asks India to commit more resources to Afghanistan for training Afghan forces. Antony and Panetta agree to explore avenues of cooperation including cyber security, expanding intelligence sharing. Our defense correspondent Shiv Aruna joins us with more details. Shiv, India seems to have made it clear that its strategy on China is going to be independent. Was that the best decision really to take at this point? Because India is a neighbor, but US is not even in the region. That's right, uh, uh, Mahal. Good question. The fact is that uh, what Antony has basically conveyed, what we're hearing from our sources, uh, is completely in line with what India has been communicating to the US for quite a few years now. The fact that India's relationship with China is independent. They have an ongoing and uh, fairly, uh, fairly mature dialogue over uh, a border dispute which has, albeit not really moved in the last many decades, uh, the border dispute is still alive. There are still skirmishes that happen on the border and that uh, what, uh, that is what Anthony has said is India's priority vis-a-vis -vis China. Uh, the the underlying message is, of course, that India uh, is uh, quite reluctant to be co-opted into any sort of explicit alliance, as it were, Maha, in the region. Uh, you know, to counter China's strategic influence, its growing military clout, its assertiveness in the region. But having said that, uh, India and the United States are also upping the ante as far as cooperation is concerned. Which would, which would sort of put them in the, the context of a military alliance. Remember, both sides already share intelligence. They've got a very high level of uh, engagement in terms of military exercises. They've now agreed to actually expand the level of um, cooperation and intelligence sharing. At this particular meeting between Antony and Panetta, they also agreed to cooperate in terms of cyber security, in areas of cyber security, and also expand um, uh, their cooperation in intelligence sharing. But the, the basic message from uh, A.K. Antony is that China is on our radar, is, is, some, is a country that we are engaging with. We do see them as a competitor. We do see them as a strategic threat as well. But we have a healthy ongoing dialogue with them. And that is our strategic focus vis-a-vis -vis China. All right, Shiv, very quickly also give us a couple of points about uh, the discussions between the two on Afghanistan and Pakistan. Well, remember, well, remember. this is again, uh, 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 A.K. Antony had conveyed this uh, to his counterpart in the United States when he had visited last year, and he has said it again. Uh, what uh, Secretary Panetta has asked for, he first of all, he thanked Mr. Antony for, for the, the very proactive, very uh, healthy role that India has been playing in Afghanistan, both in terms of training, both in terms of the medical teams there and the infrastructure that's being built by the Border Roads Organization that is administered, as you know, by the Ministry of Defense. Uh, he's actually asked for, for this, this role, this commitment to be expanded. The U.S. is very keen that uh, Indian forces, the Indian Army and the Indian Armed Forces actually expand their presence in Afghanistan in terms of a training role to train the Afghan Armed Forces and the police and the paramilitary there.